Hey guys, it's Undead Chronic, back again with another video. Why do feminists get so mad when men date 18-year-olds? I never understand. I mean, if it's 18 seconds before being born, feminists are more than happy enough to snip a baby's neck to end them through the beautiful ritual of feminist demon magic called abortion. If a teenage girl gets pregnant and the man runs off, her boyfriend runs off, but she wants to give birth to the child and be a single mother, she's enlightened. She is empowered. She is worshipped. There is nothing more worthy to a feminist than a strong woman at the age of 15 raising a child with no man in the household. They, they, they hold this up as a standard. You're so strong. You're so beautiful. You can do this. Now, if an 18-year-old woman gives birth to a child in the confines of marriage to a husband in which she's loyal to, oh, how dare you? You're a predator. You're grooming her. This is horrible. This is, this is archaic. We need to outlaw this. So when you add a man to the family, it turns into a bad thing for feminists. Do you understand now why I don't care? about what feminists say. I don't care about what feminists think. I don't care about what feminists eat. I don't care if feminists breathe or not. They are demons. So when Chronic, now approaching his mid to late 20s, is dating an 18 year old Zoomer chick, it gets these feminists so mad. Now let's talk about who's the feminist. Yes, we have the fat neon war pigs screaming about how they're better than men. But most American pastors are feminists. Most chubby, middle-aged boomer pastor wearing his button up, talking about mercy, mercy, mercy. If he sees me dating an 18-year-old who just graduated high school, he'll act like it's worse than the crucifixion. He will get so butthurt. You should date a woman your own age. You should forgive a single mother. No, no, I'm not. I should not forgive a single mother. I cannot forgive a single mother. That is not under my purview, you false prophet. They allow 18-year-olds to have OnlyFans. They allow 18-year-olds to become strippers. They allow 18-year-olds to become hookers, sluts, slores, whatever have you. But the idea that an 18-year-old should submit and bear children to one man, that's the worst thing that can happen to them. Is it just jealousy? Are these, are these old women just jealous? Is it just cope? I always bring up the same thing. Whenever these, and I, I was on a live stream with some um, my blackosphere content creators. You know, they, they, it's, just, it's just, that's a whole other topic. It, it could literally be any kind of discussion or community. And there's going to be a group of black people who say, well, no, this is the black version of that. This is the, the black manosphere. This is the black gaming community. There's really going to be a black uh, orc playing Warhammer community. I, I don't know what the deal with that is. But I was on one of their streams and they were getting all pussy hurt that I said I wanted to bend over an 18-year-old. Oh, you're basically a wetophile. Really? You sound hella misogynistic there. Just go out and say it. Say that 18-year-old women are too immature to choose who to lie down with. In fact, make it illegal. And then all these 18-year-old women are going to start screaming because they're losing their power. This is old, dusty egg cope. Your eggs are dusty. I don't want your crusty eggs. Get the hell away from me. I'm trying to make an omelet. And I'm not making an omelet with frozen eggs from a corporate feminist broad who's 38. I'm not trying to make eggs from some 27-year-old salute. I'm not trying to make... I'm not, I don't need those eggs. Those eggs are useless to me. I'm not trying to start a school for the mentally disabled. So I will continue dating 18, 19 year olds and I will continue enjoying the delicious tears of the feminists who get butthurt about it. 